Bonjour. Croissant. Ah, merci, 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 merci. Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to share with you guys a devotional that I've been using for about two years and I absolutely love it. I believe every Christian should have it because the way it speaks to you is as if Jesus was directly communicating with you and to be able to read that every single morning and then have that backed up by scripture is just a wonderful book to have. The devotional is called Jesus is Calling by Sarah Young. But before I get into it, I want to go get some breakfast. Right now I'm in Nice, France and I think it's exciting to go get some French breakfast and I want to take you guys along on that experience. Let's go. So I got my cafe ule, I think is what it's called, and it's just basically a latte, my chocolate croissant, which is chocolate croissant, <laughs> and then a macaroon of a strawberry macaroon. I'm not sure how they pronounce that here, but yeah, super sweet, a lot of bread here, not my type of breakfast, but when in France, hey. Croissant. So now that we're back, I want to get into today's devotional, which is October 22nd here. So this first passage here is him just speaking to you, like having a conversation with you. So it feels as if you're hearing from the Lord every time you read. Then it gives you scripture to back up where that passage came from. So this author wrote as if she was Jesus, and then she backed up what she is saying through scripture. So it's just wonderful. All right, so today's devotion, October 22nd, reads, No matter what your circumstances may be, you can find joy in my presence. On some days, joy is generously strewn along your life path, glistening in the sunlight. On days like that, being content is as simple as breathing the next breath or taking the next step. Other days are overclassed and gloomy. You feel the strain of the journey, which seems endless. Dull gray rocks greet your, gray, your gaze and cause your feet to ache, yet joy is still attainable. Search for it as a hidden treasure. Begin by remembering that I have created this day. It is not a chance occurrence. Recall that I am present with you wherever you sense my presence or not. Then start talking with me about whatever is on your mind. Rejoice in the fact that I understand you perfectly and I know exactly what you are experiencing. As you continue communicating with me, your mood will gradually lighten. Awareness of my marvelous companionship can infuse joy into the grayest day. All right, so that's basically today's and what I got from it is that it's just how it goes for every single person. No one is constantly happy. Every day there's a different feeling or emotion that really determines your mood. And some days we're happy and then we can be depressed the next day. So what he's saying is in those times, those gloomy days, we can look to him and remember that he is with us. He's present. And we just, he already knows what we're feeling and who we are, so we can just talk to him and share how we feel with him and expect him to understand. Um, he then overwhelms you with his presence and he gives you a new way of looking at things or your situation and then he lightens up your mood and that changes your day. So what he's saying is we can call on to him when we're feeling those kinds of ways and just... Um, depend on him for that joy that we need in that moment or for that day. So I really enjoyed this one too because I've been feeling like this personally. I think a lot of us do. Uh, some days we're happy, some days we're sad, and it's it sucks, honestly. It sucks to just be so overwhelmed with joy one day and then just in a dark, gloomy, hazy vibe the next day. It's, it sucks, you know, like how was I so happy yesterday now I'm like depressed, what, what, what does it mean? Overall, am I happy or am I sad? But we need to remind ourselves that overall, God brings us joy um, and we're not depressed and we're not sad and we can't get stuck into that state because that is not how God intended for us to live and we could call upon Him to help us through it. 
So the scripture for that one is Psalm 21, 6. Surely you have granted him eternal blessings and made him glad with the joy of your presence. Colossians 1, 16. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are of, on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones of dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. So about this devotional, every day is something different. Every day is speaking to a different situation. And there's some days where you just open this up and you're like, wow, God is speaking directly to my situation. Like, how does he know? How is this perfectly written for me today? And it happens all the time. And that's why I absolutely love, love this book. And it doesn't get old and it will never get old because it will speak to you in different ways every single time, every year. Like, it's not like, oh, I'm going to read this one year and I'm done. No, it's going to be valuable for the rest of your life so i really recommend it um i've bought it for my best friend i bought it for my sister my mom actually gave it to me two years ago and it's just a gift that i'm going to continue giving people for the rest of my life because i believe everyone should have it and you should have it so you should buy it if you don't have it i'm going to list the link below you can start it your day each morning with it what i like to do is i like to um because you know we don't always have time to get into the word and to get read the bible every morning but this is so easy to read and it's quick it's like a five to ten minute thing every morning and you are getting into the word because of the scriptures so you're getting your word in daily with this devotional and if you want more context for the scripture you just go into your bible or your bible app and you look up that scripture and you can read the full chapter to get a better context of that scripture so that could turn into a whole bible study from a scripture that you got from this devotional there's just many ways to use it I also like it for travel. Um, I feel like it's great to bring along if you don't want to bring a bulky Bible. I brought both, but sometimes you don't have room for all of that. As long as you have your Bible app on your phone, you can read the scriptures on the Bible through your phone. Jesus is Calling by Sarah Young. It's absolutely amazing. It's awesome. It's rewarding. It's valuable. It's inspirational. It just gives you strength. It gives you courage. It gives you um, peace and joy and all the goodness of God and his love is in this devotional. So get it. You deserve it. You need it. Buy it as a gift for someone. It's only, uh, I believe it's like 12 to $13 on Amazon. And again, I'm going to list the link below, but you definitely need it. Get it, please, for your own good and for the good of others. Stay in the word daily with this devotional. I back this up 100% and I feel strongly about it. So enjoy it. That's the end of this video. I'm gonna go on a tour right now. We're gonna go on the country, we're gonna go visit the countryside of Nice, France. We saw a lot of the coast area, but it's been raining and I feel like I wanna go see the country, so we're gonna go do that. Um, maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of that also at the end of this video if you would like that. So yeah, I guess come along. Let's go visit the country. See you there. Alright you guys, so as soon as I just finished saying that about the tour, I got an email that I'm seeing now that the tour is cancelled. So I'm not going to get to bring you guys along on that journey. I'm going to show you real quick so you believe me. Unfortunately, our local partner has informed us that the tour for Nice Countryside is cancelled today due to bad weather conditions. Alright, so sorry about that. That concludes the end of this video. I love you guys. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.